Have you guys ever wanted to do something great, but you just couldn't, you let your nerves kind of get in the way as an obstacle? Have you ever done something great and wondered, man, what was it that really got into me that made me put my nerves to the side and act with confidence? Don't you wish there was just a trigger, that you, something you could say to yourself or give yourself some kind of word of encouragement to make you forget about your nerves and focus on what's really important and what you really want to do? Sometimes we find ourselves like standing up in front of everyone else. You can talk to your friends and give the same speech with your perfect dialect, but then you go and you stand in a group of people that you still already know, but just everyone's sitting and you feel the pressure of standing in front of everyone. You still don't feel comfortable in front of them. You get you know, your, your blood pressures, your blood's pumping, and then you feel all nervous and shaky and jittery, and everyone feels the same way whether you know it or not. Some of the people might not even be paying attention, but the point is, Sometimes you just need that trigger, something in you to just say to yourself, you can do this and do something great, even if it's standing in front of the room, talking to everyone, all, all your peers. So this brings me to a movie, uh, it's one of my favorite movies, uh, Tommy Boy, if you guys haven't seen it. It's a comedy filmed in 1995 starring Chris Farley and David Spade. And Chris Farley plays the son of a successful auto part manufacturer in Ohio, a small town in Ohio. And after a seven year stint in college, he comes home and he starts to work for his dad. And his dad's this great leader, a good boss, really does a great job of selling and keeping his business running local to this Ohio town. Hundreds of jobs from local people, and he really does a great job of leading and inspiring. Well, a couple years down the road, or a little while down the road after time he comes home, he's irresponsible, he doesn't care about the business, and he really just kind of wants to work, but not, not really. And everything he does, he really kind of messes up. And that's the what you see as the trend going throughout the movie, the beginning of the movie anyway. Soon later you find out his father dies and leaves the business to him. Now I'm leaving out some parts of the movie, but just to give you the effect of the speech that I'm trying to convey to you here, Tommy has then is tasked with the job of running this company. He's got jobs to worry about, people to worry about, and really his father's legacy that he doesn't want to destroy. He has a great love for his father and really wants to do well by him. Him and his father's right-hand man, David Spade, named Richard in the movie, decide to go out, travel the road, pound the pavement, and go and get these auto sales for their new, their new line of brake pads. So they have to go around to different distributors. They're going to try to get contracts so they don't close down the shop. They're going to risk jobs. People's lives are at stake. And this is when you kind of see Tommy really start to change. So Tommy's going out through, through these different towns, meets with different manufacturers, and he ruins every interview he goes on. He starts out pretty good, and it looks like things are going well, he's going to get these sales. All of a sudden, he starts panicking, he gets really nervous, he even goes as far as to light one guy's office on fire. A small fire, but you get the picture. He's kind of really messing up these, these interviews. So while he's trying to elicit sales for his father's auto parts, he ends up really failing, and they get to one point a longer trip, when they're trying to, actually they stop for lunch because they're really not doing well and it's coming close to the deadline and it looks like their shop is going to close. Tommy and Richard stop, stop for lunch. Well, they stop into this diner. You guys all reckon, actually if you've seen the movie, you'll remember the scene. But Tommy orders from, the, they're there for lunch, and Tommy orders from the waitress, he says he would like chicken wings. And the waitress says, well, the fries are off until dinner, so you can't have it. So he stops. And kind of at a low point in his life where nothing's really going well for him, he goes on a rant about how terribly he is at sales, why his father's business is going to close, and all these different things talking about. It's really coming from the heart, though. And you can really see this is where Tommy stops trying so hard and just acts like himself. Well, after his rant, the waitress goes, I'll have the, the cook throw in the fryer for you. And he gets his chicken wings. So later on down the story, and I know it's kind of confusing, but follow along with me here. So later on, he's on his, one of his final interviews, and it's getting close to the deadline, and this is a big contract, and he's blowing the interview with his last distributor, and he finally, he's, he's going ready to walk away, and his partner, Richard, stops him and says, chicken wings, and he stops with chicken wings, and you see something click, and then he goes back, and he goes to the, back to the distributor, and he gives this great presentation, really wows him, and at the end of it, you think he's going to walk away or not have the sale, and he goes, okay, I'll buy from you, and he says, well, if that's what you choose, because he's used to de being defeated, all of a sudden realizes that he's going to take the, the contract and he's going to save all of the coworkers, the jobs, and his father's legacy. Now, there's, late, there's more to this movie, but the point is that <coughs> all of us need some kind of trigger.
Tommy's happened to be the word chicken wings. They really kicked him into gear and saved these people's jobs, his father's legacy, and really himself. You can tell he really wanted to do well by his family. And so that being said, when some of us are out here or even up in front of our peers here, we even need that same kick to get us those encouraging words to get us to put our nerves at ease. So all I have to say to you is when you're ready to give up, when you're nervous, when you just don't want to do it anymore, you don't want to do something great, find your chicken wings and enjoy. Thanks.